Well, it's hatch chili season here in Oklahoma, and in today's cooking corner, our friend Heather Berryhill shows us how to use those delicious peppers in a delicious shrimp soup. Hi, Heather Berryhill here. Welcome back to my home kitchen. It's hatch green chili season again, and I'm going to make a hatch green chili soup with fresh summer corn and grilled shrimp. You're going to love this one, so let's get cooking. I'm going to go ahead and make a little marinade for the shrimp. It needs to marinate for about an hour, so I'm going to do that before I start the soup. So I've basically got a quarter cup of olive oil, and now I'm taking the zest of a lime, and then I'm going to put a quarter cup of lime juice in here as well. I'm going to put a little pinch of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Next, just a half a cup of cilantro. I'm going to go ahead and add one large clove of garlic. Into the fridge we go. I've got some hatch green chilies here. I find that the easiest way to roast them is just to put it over an open flame. So these are looking charred and perfect. That's about the consistency you want before going into your Ziploc bag. I've got all the chilies in the bag. I'm just going to seal it up and let them steam for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I am dicing just one large onion. I'm putting some olive oil down into the bottom of a Dutch oven and I'm going to add the onion and saute. So the hatch green chilies have been steaming for a while. I steam them so that when I take my paper towel, it will just kind of rub off all that char. I need about two cups of hatch green chilies. So I'm just going to chop these up really fine. I'm adding those hatch green chilies in with the onions. I'm going to give this a stir and just let it saute down. You want most of the water cooked out of them before you add the other ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of cloves of garlic. You only want to do this at the end so the garlic doesn't burn. I'm going to give that a really good stir. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in a whole container of chicken broth or chicken stock. I'm going to blend all of this up till it's just really fine and creamy. I'm going to go ahead and add in some half and half. I've got some fresh corn here, and I'm just cutting the kernels off the cob. I like to do this over a cookie sheet, kind of keep the corn from going all over the kitchen. I'm going to put a little bit of the fresh corn in, use the immersion blender a little bit, but I do want to keep some of the corn out so that it has the chunks of the corn as well. Now I'm going to blend the corn with the immersion blender. Now I'm adding all the rest of the corn in. I'm going to give it a taste and see how much salt and pepper I think we need to add. Definitely need salt. Ooh, I taste the kick of the hatch green chilies. It's going to be so good. And lots of fresh cracked black pepper. Now I'm going to sprinkle in some fresh cilantro at the end. I'm just going to keep this on a slow boil just to let it thicken up slightly. The cilantro lime shrimp has been marinating in the refrigerator for about an hour. I've got some wooden skewers here that I soaked in water so they don't burn on the grill. I'm just going to take that shrimp and thread them on before going onto a hot grill. Just one to two minutes on each side. Cooked through, you're just looking for some pretty grill marks. I'm going to put a little bit of crumbled queso fresco down. I'm going to top with two of those grilled shrimp. So there you have it. Hatch chili soup with fresh summer corn and cilantro lime shrimp. This is one you're going to want to make over and over, I promise. For more recipes like this, go to theresearch.com website or follow me on Instagram at just me, Heather B. That looks delicious. I love hatch chili. So you can check out more recipes just like this one. All you have to do is go to our website. That's newson6.com slash recipes.